In this video, I will show you how to customize the bullet points in Google Docs and also in Google Slides. Let's get started. So here I have a disclosure document for a Spanish class. And as you can see, there's several bullet points in the document. These work great, but what if I'd like to customize them to make them a little bit more creative and draw attention to the items in the bulleted list? What I could do is click on one of the bullets, and as you can see, all of these bullets in this grouping have been selected. Now I can right-click and choose a different bullet symbol. So I could use numbering, or I could use letters, I could use Roman numerals, or still use bullets, but different looking bullets. All of these are good options, even stars or check boxes. I'm going to uncheck those boxes and switch back to a simple bullet. But in addition to these preset bullet options, we do have more bullets that we can choose. So if you click there, you get a pop-up with a list of categories of bullets that you could choose from. Usually it takes you directly here to the symbols category. And there you'll find all sorts of symbols that you can pull in as bullets. Some of them are simply icons, black and white. Others may have some color, like this one. And you can see, as soon as I select one, it replaces the simple bullets that are there by default. In addition to the symbol category, we have several other very useful categories, like format and white space. We've got Latin. We have bullets that may be helpful with specific languages. But the one that most people gravitate toward is this one, emoji. When you select that, you get all of those typical emojis that we're used to using on our cell phones. For example, you could use this pointing finger to draw attention to each of the bullet points. Or, why not use these two eyes to get across the message that you want parents and students to look at these two bullet points. We also have the ability to search by keyword for a specific emoji that you're looking for. So my bulleted list here is for required materials for class. So I'm going to search for school, and you can see I get some good options. One of them looks like a backpack. So I'll click there. And now the bullet points come in looking like backpacks. That's going to help get across the message that these are required materials that the students need to bring with them. I could have also chosen a school emoji. So those are some great options. Maybe down here with these bullets, I'll choose a different emoji. Maybe this graduation cap. Now, just so you know, when you're changing these bullets, it's only changing the bullet level that you have selected. So as I add another indented bullet, it just reverts to what's the standard bulleting style. You can customize those bullets as well, though. Let's take a look at that by switching over to a Google Slides show. And the good news is that custom bullets can also be used in Google Slides. So here on slide two of my Google Slideshow that I'm working on, I have some bullets. And almost exactly like in Google Docs, I can click on one of the bullets to select them all, and then right-click on any one of them to change the bullet or to go to more bullets and look through the different categories that I have available. The categories themselves look identical. I do want to point out that in addition to picking the category of bullet, there are some subfolders that go in those categories. So people and emotions, animals, plants, and food, objects, maps, and more. Just like in Google Docs, I can search by keyword, but I also want to point out this option that was in Google Docs and in Google Slides. You could actually draw a symbol. So I would like to draw something that looks like a flag. At least that's what I'm going for. And look, there's an option for flag. So I'm going to select that. And now each bullet point that I had selected looks like a flag. So now I would like to also customize the next level of bullets. So I just select one of those bullets. They both are highlighted. And then I right clicked on one of them. And I go here to more bullets and click on categories, make sure emoji is selected, or symbol, and maybe I just want the second level to be a map. Now these are tiny maps, so the viewer may not totally understand what the bullet is, so just be aware of that. And then I'm gonna go to this third level of bullets, go to more bullets, again switch to categories, emoji, and I can do a search. This time, I'm gonna draw, let's say, a heart, and I get various results related to hearts. I'm going to close out of this and you can see the results. So in this video, we've looked at how to customize the bullets in Google Docs and in Google Slides. Just by selecting the bullets, going to more bullets, and looking through the categories and or searching 
finding an emoji or other symbol that you would like to use instead of a typical bullet, and then as soon as you select it, it replaces the standard bullets that were there before. This can be a fun way to add a little personality into your Google Slideshows and your Word Docs. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video, or you can support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll find more information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you.